रोकने का बिल है धन्यवाद नेक्स्ट स्पीकर श्रीमती सुप्रिया सुले जी एक मिनट सुप्रिया सुले जी एक एक मिनट एक मिनट प्लीज नो नव द टाइम इज ऑलरेडी सिक्स इफ द हाउस यूनानिमसली एग्री वी विल एक्सटेंड द हाउस अप टू सेवन एज डायरेक्टेड बाय द ऑनरेबल स्पीकर ओके द हाउस इज एक्सटेंडेड अप टू सेवन प्लीज थैंक यू सर आई वुड लाइक टू speak on this delhi municipal corporation bill i appreciated the lines of the honorable home minister when he first started his speech on the introduction of the bill where he said this will be a very academic discussion and let's not making what he said was let's rise above politics and have a healthy debate and it's very unfortunate that both the treasury bench speakers have only spoken politics it's very unfortunate and i really felt that i appreciate the honorable home minister because he was probably looking for some good discussion good suggestions where we could really truly make a difference in the city where we all owe a lot to this city gives us our second home we come here and being the capital of india it definitely is something that we need to all contribute to parvesh varma uh, as well as the earlier speaker both made very interesting comments they both kept talking about the glorious work done by their party and their representatives so i stand perplexed and confused that does mcd have money or doesn't have money i'll give you an example sir mid day meal ke bare mein bola bahut achhi schools banaye bahut acche programs banaye fir ye sab agar ho raha hai aur acha chal raha hai and one more thing he said he said ke स्कूल मेडिकल सिस्टम्स घर दिए और आंगनवाड़ी सेविकाओं को परमानेंट भी कर दिया सो so, इतना सब अच्छा चल रहा है तो बुरा क्या है इसमें तो जो चल रहा है वो अच्छा चल रहा है सो एम सी डी इज डूइंग अ वेरी गुड जॉब सो देन वेर इज द प्रॉब्लम सो इफ डेट इज द प्रॉब्लम देन आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क वन क्वेश्चन मीनाक्षी लिखी आई क्लैड यू आस्ट रिप्लाई डी In December 2021 the leader of the three corporations approached the union finance minister seeking for payment of salaries the request was denied by the finance minister this is what the court of government of india is sir so how does this thing change i'm happy to yield i'm happy to yield government has increased five times the municipal corporation uh, revenue should have also increased it has not and as per the finance commission even that has not been paid totally agree with minakshi ji minakshi ji then there's a, another solution i can give you on the same ground that you're saying that according to the rules of this land which we follow is by the constitution of india now according to the constitution of india which also parvesh verma mentioned in his speech what he said was that this money deserves to come to us and this unification is going to solve the problem well i'm buying the argument if it i'm sure the intention of the government is very noble in doing so i'm not doubting their intention i'm doubting the way it's directed what did he say sir it's the timing hum log ek saal ke pehle kar i will come to your point minakshi for sure but just let me finish parvesh's point what he said first was it's the timing sir of this he says 5 saal pehle now the election was uh, this decision was taking of unification on the day the delhi municipal corporation election was going to be announced that's where the first doubt in my mind came as a normal citizen that if you are announcing the state election commission is announcing the election what happens 5 hours before that they suddenly felt no we want to go for unification if they think unification is a solution and if it's for the betterment so be it it's a good suggestion no harm in trying it you tried a tri party thing you think it didn't work you want to unify nothing wrong change is inevitable in any administration so i have no problem in either way going forward but the point is is the timing of it and not just timing sir he is talking that hum log 5 saal pura karne ja very good i'm happy you wanted to complete but if delimitation was a suggestion why did they not start the process of delimitation before the election hamare maharashtra mein jab corporation ki election hai arvind savant ji jante hai jab delimitation karna chahte hai uska process election ka term khatam hone ke pehle karte because we do not want to delay anything why should a prashasak come we are here elected members to run 
थिंक अबाउट इट मीनाक्षी जी इफ टुमारो डिलिमिटेशन आप बाद में करे तो पांच साल ही It's not about it. It's not about this. It's an academic point I'm making. This is not about UPA versus NDA. Some things have to rise above politics, and we need to have some deliberate. Like you all are doing deliberately. Hamaria Pune me Pune bhi ek corporation hai. Pune municipal ka Pimpri Chinswade ka bilak corporation hai. So we made two courts completely separate bodies. So is that a solution you could have thought of? Looking at PMC and PCMC. Now could that be an option because you are looking Amit Shah ji ne bhi unke shuruaat mein kaha ki wo number of corporators kam kar rahe aur hamare maharashtra mein aur jaise delhi mein hai har jagah lok sankhya badhi ja rahi hai so actually the pressure it's like my constituency sir now it's increased much more now is it manageable and it's not only for me it's applicable for every Uh, member of parliament lok sankhya jab badhti hai to jo 5 crore rupya jo 1 crore rupya parvesh bhai bhi mang rahe the abhi pure 5 crore mile bhi nahi aur ek kahan kahan se do ban ke nate de bhi sakti thi agar aapki sarkar mujhe 5 crore puriya de deti thi but that's not the point we are arguing here on a lighter note i was saying that but on a very serious note when you do delimitation isn't increasing the number better than decreasing what is the logic of reducing the corporators क्योंकि जो डेंसिटी होगी नंबर ऑफ वोटर्स की वो फिर बढ़ेगी फिर वो एक नगर सेवक जो होगा वो कैसे मैनेज कर पाएगा बिकॉज नंबर ऑफ सिटीजन और पॉपुलेशन इज क्लियरली गोइंग अप इन एनी एनी सिटी और दिल्ली में तो हो ही रहा है सर सो व्हाट इज द थियोरी बिहाइंड दिस गवर्नमेंट डूइंग दिस नाउ कमिंग बैक टू योर पॉइंट मीनाक्षी जी आई अप्रीशिएट वॉट यूर सेंग माई ओनली लिमिटेड पॉइंट वॉज दैट द राइट ऑफ दिस अकॉर्डिंग टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन विच परवेश वर्मा वॉज सेंग वॉट हैपन्स इन दिस is according to what he said which is contradiction was in the part 9 and 9 a because of the 73rd and 74th amendment which is said according to this the enactment of this the position has changed the original enactment was that the central government could have done it but when the bifurcation the trifurcation happened we debated it you know better than me that it happened in the delhi assembly so why why are we not doing this in delhi assembly and why are we debating municipal issues yeah कोई जरूरत नहीं है आज बात कर लेते वहां पे एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस आई एम नॉट श्योर वेदर दिस इज गोइंग टू रियली वर्क कोई कोर्ट में चला जाएगा और चक्कर हो जाएगा व्हाट आर वी गोइंग टू अचीव बाय दिस एंड आई अर्ज दिस दिस इज इंडिया पार्लियामेंट वी आर हियर टू मेक कंट्री नॉट डिस्कस कॉर्पोरेशन ऐसे तो कल ऐसे वो आपने तो गोवा और जम्मू कश्मीर का तो एक तो बिल ला लिए बट डेली का आप ला लिए बिकॉज देन यू दिस इज वेन वी फील दर्ज अ कॉन्ट्रोडिक्शन एंड दर्ज अडन एजेंडा Why only Delhi? Because there is a administrator or power a government today which is not of your ideology. There, Daman and Diu, same issue. Why is they not discussed here? Why is Goa not discussed here? Why Jammu Kashmir is not discussed here? Same logic is applicable, no? So give us an argument to that. So I think this is purely technical, and I think you should think about the timing. Like they said, the State Election Commission had an official invite to the press conference at five o'clock. and then this decision was taken that's the reason we are saying and we feel that kuch gadbad i'm not saying i'm sure your intent is very good but delaying is not going to help anybody an administrator being there an aaj jo aam aadmi hai delhi wala kahan jayega wo corporate ke paas jata hai agar uska dp jal jata hai uska gutter ka problem hota hai pani ka problem hota hai kisko jayega milne abhi wo he'll have to run to his mla but corporate is something jo 24 by 7 aapke sukh dukh mein rehta hai that's why this whole distribution of power is in the constitution and i think that's the whole idea decentralization of power and i'm not saying honorable modi ji n number of times has talked and i have his quotes which i can come back to if i'm given that kind of time the other thing i was talking about is autonomy a lot has been talked about autonomy we even discussed earlier about autonomy i think the problem with all this government bill after bill which is coming which is actually taking autonomy away from the states and cooperative federalism जब अरुण जी यहाँ बैठते थे मुझे 200 बार ही मस्ट हैव कोड आई कैन टेल यू कोड्स ऑफ कॉपरेटिव फेडरलिज्म देर इज नो कॉपरेटिव फेडरलिज्म इट्स बिकमिंग लेसर एंड लेसर इज द फीलिंग आई एम गेटिंग वाइल वर्किंग हियर एक्सेसिव सेंट्रलाइजेशन ऑफ पावर्स आई गिव यू एन एग्जांपल सर दैट यू सेट दैट द कांग्रेस गॉट द एल टू ब्रिंग मोर पावर नॉट टू रॉन्ग्स डेट अवर यू कैन सिलेक्टिवली लाइक द कांग्रेस एंड डिसलाइक द कांग्रेस मीनाक्षी बिकॉज Your first speaker said Delhi की तो सारी powers एल जी को उसने दी थी नाउ 
two minutes. Now, if Parvesh can speak so long, just two minutes. I'm not criticizing. I'm only giving honest feedback because I genuinely love this country and I truly want to make a difference by being here, by contributing, not just criticizing them for the sake of criticizing. But how do you selectively use the LG powers? When it suits you, the LG is a good man. If the Congress is doing it, it doesn't happen like that. Administration has to be better. See, governance is continuity. One day you're sitting here, one day we will sit there. But that doesn't mean we misuse the power. It is here. Why is the governor here? Not to make life miserable of the administrative people who are elected. I am suffering that in my state. I will tell you some other day what problems there are. When the governor talks, because all good work that you want to do is hampered by these kind of interventions. And look at the legacies of governors in my state. What kind of tall leaders we have had at governors? Very, very big people. Ali Awar Jung, Latif Ji. What kind of people? PC Alexander. These are legacies of governors that we have had. So what is the problem? I can't understand. And even talking about cooperative federalism, it's very, very important to leave the states alone. Doesn't matter. Aaj, uh, Kejriwal ji ke sarkar hai, kal aap ki bhi sakti hai Dilli mein. But by doing all this, this is not the way it's going to solve all our legislative problems. You want to make Delhi MCD. Like that anyway, Amit Shah ji controls that entire thing. So this is something completely out of. So how, I just want to know the mechanism by merging all this. Sir, if you in your reply can explain to me, what is the big magic difference is this conversion going to bring? I, to me, it doesn't matter whether there are three parts or one part, as long as people get better service is my point. All the recommendations, I still remember Modi ji talking about cooperative federalism when he was chief minister. I still remember his words. This actually said when he was the prime minister. He said, that Baba Sahib gave a constitution to a federal structure to strengthen our unity. Sadly, UPS intent was striking the core ideas. What are you doing today? You at that time said that UPA was doing this. Today, what else is cooperative? And again, Modi ji in 2012 said, Modi ji said in that, in the Times of India, sir, cooperative is not coercive federalism for a strong republic. This is what his thinking was. He said cooperative federalism, our government is about attitude of cooperation instead of confrontation. What are these speeches? These speeches were only about confrontation. We want cooperatism. So if there are any solutions that and UTs, look at there are so many examples I can give about UTs. Look what's happening in Lakshadweep. Twice I have met the Honorable uh, Home Minister for these issues. Our lady, I, she's unfortunately not here, Mrs. Delkar. I know what she went through. She lost her husband. And that same gentleman who was managing that UT has now moved to Lakshadweep and making people's life miserable in Lakshadweep. And the Honorable uh, Home Minister has been very kind and indulged us with time and he's assured us that he will find a solution to make sure Lakshadweep works very peacefully. Kindly so conclude. UT, I Kindly am concluding, conclude. sir. I just request to you that in governance, there are differences of opinions, there are differences of governments. But from election to election, we can definitely have, but we can't just have jugglery of institutions. Institutions must be maintained. There can be debate and discussions, but I think my only request to this government is, please do not bring assembly issues to parliament. Do not bring what needs to, corporation ka jo kaam hai, wo parliament nahi aana chahiye. Parliament is a larger role in policy making for government of India. I think it's about nation building, not corporation buildings. So I urge that please let's send it to the assembly, let the assembly debate it, and let's do what is for the betterment of this country. So I urge this, please believe in cooperative federalism. There was a time Arun Jaitli ji used to constantly talk about it. After Arun ji, I hear that word seldom. And I'm looking forward to build a better India. You take Baba, Baba Sahib Ambedkar's name. Please walk the talk, follow the constitution, and respect cooperative federalism. Thank you so much.